Hey guys, just going to do a short video here and explain a little bit where I was. Well, I was in YouTube jail for a video I did with my son uh, driving the John Deere skid loader, I forgot it. But I'm down here in one of the sunflower fields. And you can just see the sunflowers are starting to come on. They're up to my chest here. There's the sunflowers. They're really nice in this little field. We have a uh, crimson clover down there growing. So they'll be uh, blooming here probably another two weeks, probably, I guess. I don't know. Keep seeing these trucks come past. Anyway, yeah, you can see the clover down there growing. But they're on the early stages of putting flowers on. Over here, you can kind of see the sunflowers didn't come right away due to the drought, but you can see the clover's coming really nice, the crimson clover. Um, I like this better than having just an empty field with weeds in it growing. Um, the clover can be plowed down from nitrogen. Uh, the sunflowers can be plowed down for potash. Uh, they do a nice job of uh, aerating the soil and putting in uh, some potash for the next crop. Next year I might just put sunflowers in it again, I don't know, um, or something else. But it is in lowland ground. and. Uh, you know you don't know what to put in here and if, if you put some corn down here you could um, a little later or something soybeans but the muskrats really do a number on this crops especially the organic but I just wanted to show you the clover the different sizes of sunflowers that are finally coming and uh, again it's just like a cover crop to me um, we just bought uh, food grade uh, bird seed um, so it was considered a, a organic product. All right, guys, I'm up here in the cornfield in the middle of the field. This uh, field has a little neck in it, so we drive around. And I just want to show you some of the corn. Really doesn't look bad um, as far as it was dry, but now we've been getting rains here. Pretty on e uh, pretty good here this week. Been getting a quarter of an inch to. You see where kind of that ear there pushing through the husk. Some has a deer damage with the deer here on the end, but overall it looks pretty good. You see my hand there on the end. It just kind of gives you a little bit what inside the field here. This is not organic, this is uh, no-tilled. And um, I'm gonna go down here where we worked the one field, we worked uh, by the grain bins and I'll show you a little bit of that, but. It's been a rough year for the corn, but uh, overall I'd say it's pretty good here in uh, Pennsylvania, at this pot. Okay, this is one of the organic alfalfa slash clover fields. We ran out of alfalfa seeds so we put some clover here and I'll just show you the difference here. Right there the line is. There's about a little strip out there but overall it's pretty nice. Uh, went through a lot of stress there with the uh, drought but in the clover. So I'll probably mow this here probably this week yet maybe. It's not going to make much but once it starts going to flower like that, it's time to lay it over. That's the organic corn over there on the hill. We plant up and down. That field never washed out with all our rains here over the summer. Um, so that looks really good. All right, we're gonna go here and look at some soybeans yet and uh, get back here to the house. So uh, we went and picked fresh tomatoes out of the garden tonight they're considered organic as far as I care no chemicals and uh, yeah just looks like another storm coming on the horizon there okay here's my uh, soybeans here on the farm I'm doing a test trial with I'm not gonna mention any names or any of what brand they are just wanted to see how they grew here on the farm this year. You can see how tall they are on the gator up to my waist. 
And this, let's look, see how the pods look down in here. Weed control looks good. I say they're pretty well loaded up there. You got a lot of growing to do. These are 30 inch soybeans. And then you can see the pods down here in the bottom. The gator kind of gives you the height there on the end. And again, the corn is another trial plot there that we're doing, so. But um, yeah, they're growing, they're constantly growing here and putting more buds up on top. So yeah, I think they're gonna be doing pretty well. I don't know if you can like, show you where my shirt is or not, it's up to my stomach. A little bug damage there. Real nice. So the soybeans are up there in my chest. Uh, not that row, got ran right over. By a spare. So today is August the 9th or the 10th, I believe. Let's see, yesterday. Might be the 9th, I guess. I'm not sure. All right, we're gonna go up, uh, check out a couple more things here, then I'm gonna head in the house here for supper, but I just wanna do a short update. I'll let you know where I was, and so, yeah. Gorgeous evening on the farm. You can see there's a line there, the color difference there on the soybeans. A little darker green here. Just thought I would stop here and look at the corn. This corn here is right on the end. I'd say overall it looks pretty, pretty darn good. A lot of it tried to put two ears on it inside here. I don't know on a good year if that's good or bad, but I mean on a drought year. But it seems like it's gonna produce two ears there and it's a little bit smaller, but a little bit bigger here. Got a little ways to fill out yet before I open any up. That's one weed I like to pull out every time I see it. A velvet leaf, I guess they call it. But um, get it out here where you can drive on it. Just look at the ears there and count them. There's some there's some good bushel of your corn right there. This is down here in the lower spot where it had some moisture here when it was dry. Pull them over and the weeds out. This guy here tried to put four years on and pulled it back. That nair's not going to make anything, but these two here will make something. Nice height. Probably 10, 12 foot there. And here you can start seeing it pushing the tips open. And the, I don't like when it does that. The birds will pick at it. But anyway. Okay, I've been working on the corn planter here, but right now we're waiting for some parts to come back. Uh, the bushings to do the lifting and the raising on the uh, axle there were wore out and it chewed out the one, but I did get the one replaced already. You can see it here. So that one's done. So once we get this one back here, we can put it back together and uh, get it ready for spring. So I just thought it'd be good here while I have some time to work on the corn planter. And uh, I got a seal here leaking on the pickup cylinder a little bit. See if I can fix that a little bit on there. Uh, yeah, so that's what's going on here in the corn planter. So this is a project. Work on it a little bit and go do something else. So um, yeah. So they they I another guy stopped over at the welding shop. They're building up the. The axle there for me a little bit and uh, put a new bushing in he said didn't start it yet so that's one thing we're doing here on the farm uh, it's just been uh, rainy and uh, this week so far and uh, working uh, inside and working with the garden and stuff like that
we did some hauling here with a trailer there for the Amish here in the area. And we'll be doing a little bit more of that. Still got a heck of a pile of lumber up front here. We're going to try to clean up some of this stuff here. This is metal that was ordered wrong when we built the shed, the wrong color. A lot of metal there. I don't know how many thousands of dollars are sitting there. That's the price we pay on these mistakes and stuff. So there's enough here to do the another building, 75 foot wide, both ends and the back. So you could do another building just like this, but not the roof, uh, both end walls and uh, and it gets frustrating. So, and you don't want to sell it because I could have left it there for a dollar a foot. I paid $4 a foot for all this stuff here, roughly a little bit over $4 a foot. And I uh, don't want to give it away. Um, my good friend there in the Lancaster County, he brought me up this uh, six row cultivator. I did use it very little at the end. Um, so we're going to use that next year in the corn and the soybeans. Uh, picked up a nice uh, four bottom rollovers. Need some work. We're going to paint them all up. It's on the list to do. Uh, we did a trailer. We built a trailer up in the shop. Um, a lot of stuff Justin is learning and uh, we're working together on that stuff. But uh, I cannot show him too much, I guess, running equipment anymore just for these new guidelines and stuff. And we can't get it suspended more than three times or they'll shut the whole channel down and I have to start all over again. And I don't really want to do that. Um, I know I don't want to do that. But uh, the times we live in, uh, just you never know. So you'll see him helping me work around. I think he could do things like that as long as it's safe and don't look like he's going to get hurt or something like that. And someone fall all the pieces and report it or and those guys will check it out but yeah what's going on here and uh hope everybody's enjoying the video and uh, we'll talk to you later